good job. All right, 40 minutes worth, 41 minutes worth. We're doing great. We're going to stand up for a while and maybe do some standing ab work, standing push-ups, and maybe some chair sits to build our strength of our lower body. So let's start with our upper body to the wall. Your feet, your toes are about 14 inches from the wall. And you're going to put your hands at shoulder height. Elbows are going to come in right in line with the hands and back. That's more of a bicep push-up. Sorry, tricep push-up. So from here, we're going to hold our abs in, drop our shoulders, and we're going to do as many as we can. You don't have to do all of them. It's up to you. Build your strength slowly. Pull your abs in. Send your shoulders down into your back pockets, away from your ears. Press your heels into the floor to get a nice calf stretch. Try to touch your nose to the wall. Take it slow and controlled. Breathing. Here's 10. Keep going if you can. Breathe. Keep that neck in line with your spine. Don't reach forward with your neck. This makes 20. We're going to go for 10 more. Four more. Almost there. Hold on. One more. And rest. Good job. Okay, shake it out. Before we go to the abs, I'm going to do a chair sit and maybe a little stretch on those front of the legs. So the chair sit, before you even start, you want to put your neck, I'm sorry, better yet, head, your head, shoulders, glutes on the wall. Now you may have some little arches in the neck and the low back, that's perfectly normal. Those are normal curves of the spine. Our our hands are against the wall, our chest is open, and we're going to walk out to the point where we don't let our knees go over our toes. Let's hold a beautiful posture of the spine, abs in, ribs wrapped, eyes on the horizon, and let's just stay here for eight counts. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This really gives you an idea of how upright your body needs to be. And then a little deeper if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're going to go up to that first point, down to the second point. Up and down. Try to keep the back on the wall. Up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk your feet in. Stand tall. And we're going to stretch out the front of the leg, hip flexors. We're going to put one toe right up against the wall, the other foot back as far as you can get it, pressing the heel into the floor. Try to keep that heel into the floor. That's going to give you a wonderful calf stretch. And you're going to square the hips and reach the knee that's bent towards the wall and feel that stretch. Really keep the heart high. You'll feel a little stretch through the front of the abs, the hips are square to the wall along with the shoulders and press that heel. Get that hip flexor stretch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up. Ideally, when you stretch, try to hold it for 20 seconds. Put the other 
toe to the wall. Walk that back leg out. Press the heel into the floor. Wonderful, wonderful stretch in the calf. Take that knee as close as you can to the wall and hold. Heart up, abs in, eyes on the horizon. Breathe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, all right, shake it all out. We're gonna do some standing ab work, a lot into the obliques, but the transversus down in here has to be active. It has to be up, in, navel in, ribs wrapped. Find powerhouse, find all those connections connecting together to form the strength in your abs. So we're gonna keep our feet right under our hips, right under our hips, and we're gonna pretend like we have a golf club in our hands, but don't over grip, just keep it soft. Now, when you pitch forward a little, you wanna make sure your knees are bent and that your chest doesn't close off. Keep it nice and wide, arms long, and you're gonna lift and press. You'll feel those obliques immediately kick in, pulling those abs deep into the spine, so the transversus is the support, Lift, 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 lift. This will help the golf game. Eight, seven, six. Don't let go of that powerhouse core muscles. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Keep those knees bent. Go to the other side. Keep those collarbones smiling and lift, lift. If you notice, the only thing that's really moving is the upper body. Don't let the arms take control. It's really the trunk from the waist up that's doing the work. Navel to spine, breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, we're gonna go back and forth to each side. Find the powerhouse first, navel in, ribs wrapped, and trunk rotates to the right, center, left. Only from the waist up, left. Building the strength in the back body as well as the front body. Eight, seven, six. Pelvis is quiet, it's stable. Three, two, one. Good job. Now we're going to go to the diagonal above our head. Bend the knees, always bend the knees to protect the spine. Arms up, shoulders down. Don't take shoulders with you. Keep it down and take it left, right. You're gonna feel this a little higher into the trunk, around the lat area, each rib. Eight, seven, six, five, four, once again, the pelvis is quiet. Four, three, two, one. Now let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Reverse it this way first. Chest stays open, abs stay in, only working from here up. Let's go, shoulders down, left, Right, left, right. You got it. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. One more set. Left, right, and down. Good job working that whole trunk. Now, we're going to go into the plie position, making sure that the knees are always tracking over the toes. The abs are in, the chest is wide. We're gonna take this arm up and this arm down and we're gonna hold it here. Now when you side bend, make sure that your shoulders are over your knees and hips and you're not pitching forward or pitching back. You wanna be right over it, feeling that C curve of the side of the body, rainbow. Ready, shoulders down, one, two, three, Four, you'll feel this in your waist. Those obliques are talking to you. 
seven, eight. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Now to the other side. Before you start, lift the pelvic floor, sink the belly into the spine, wrap the rib, and side up, clean side. Don't lift the shoulders. Keep them down. And reach. Hold. Hold. You'll feel it right in here. Eight, seven, six, five. Now, let's go down. Two, three. Bend the knees. Keep them bent. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Good stretching. Three, two, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, from here, we're going to alternate it. Very slow and hold. One, back to center. Two, back to center. Feel the crunch on the side body. Three, center. Four, center. Five, center. Six, center. One more. Hold, take a deep breath. <sighs> Vertical ab work. You can do it. You don't need to be in horizontal all the time. Change it up. Give your body uh, a, a way to retrain itself. So now we're going to go to the floor for a little bit of glute and hamstring work. And I'm going to change the angle so you can see me. And let's go to the floor with bent knees, flatten the back. Now, if you can, reach to the floor and walk it out like a bear and drop your knees. Good job. Now, from here, we're going to stay in that quadruped position. Your toes are not rolled under. Uh, your foot is long to the floor. Your hands are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. Your abs are lifting deep into your spine. You can serve tea on your spine, it's so straight. That's the way you want to keep it throughout. Take this leg here and pump it, pump it, pump, pump. When you lift that leg, try to maintain the squareness of your hips. If you had a flashlight on each hip bone, it would be shining downward perfectly straight. That's the way you want to keep your pelvis when you work through these exercises. Neutral pelvis. Strong support, but the leg is challenging the glute and the hamstrings while the abs and the trunk are maintaining the stability. Notice that knee starts at hip height. It's not a big movement, it's controlled. Try to keep both sides of your body long. Take it down, lift it up, down, up. Here's the challenge, don't move through the pelvis. Isolate the pelvis from the leg. This is an efficient way of doing it without bringing in the whole body. That's what we learn when we do the proper exercise, is how to be efficient with movement, not using muscles we don't need. Down, up, down, up. Check your neck to make sure it's in line with your spine, not dangling down. Keep your arms strong and long. Now cross it over. This one's more difficult, cross. Up, you're crossing the midline. Up, tightening up those glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it here and lengthen that leg out. Give it as much of a length as you can. Back of the knee long, up, up. Notice that I'm not going high. I'm concentrate on, concentrating on keeping those glutes activated as you lift, lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Let's turn to the other side and then we'll do some stretches. 
We're going to pump two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down, lift it up, take it down, lift it up. Four, three, quiet in the pelvis. Two, one, cross it over, lift it up, up, up. Up, four more, four, three, tighten up those glutes, one, abs are lifting into the spine, take it long, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, bring it down, and this is your rest pose, stretch. Try to get your armpits to the floor. Feel the stretch through the low back, quads. Back up. And let's do a little bit of hamstring stretching with inner thigh. We're gonna sit tall and we're going to side bend over the long leg and hold it. Once again, a beautiful stretch through the side body. And then flex the foot and reach towards your other leg, but drop your shoulders and lengthen through your neck. Try not to let those shoulders rise to the ears and hold. Keep the chest open. Back up, open, change sides. Side bend over. Flex foot and reach. Drop the shoulders and hold. Make sure you breathe. Don't force any of the stretches. Try to relax into the stretches. Find a comfortable place to sit tall. Roll your shoulders. Reverse it. Arms out. Forward. Keep the chest open. And back. Forward. And back. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. Take one big inhale, exhale. You did a fine job today. Hope to see you soon. Let's see, today's Monday. I teach again on Thursday, always at nine o'clock for cardio fusion and 10 o'clock for Pilates. So see you soon. Thanks for coming.